good afternoon to my dear students this is regina victor joseph your english teacher and i welcome you all for this online lecture instructions use your phone or headphones for a better learning experience keep a notebook and a pen handy to note important points read the content on the screen and understand it properly sit in a quiet place you may pause the video till you get ready to resume or when you have to make a note of important points so today's topic my dear students is picture composition yes you can see this bright lovely picture in the background there's a boy and a girl then you can see some alphabets floating you can see a little rocket an aeroplane then you can see the saturn planet numbers a dinosaur so this is all your imagination like what is picture composition right so let us see what it is what is picture composition now you can see a picture in the background there are few children who are playing basketball and there's a little puppy then you can see a red color car behind the car you can see a house and near the car you can see a big tree right so all the children are enjoying playing basketball so picture composition my dear students is all about visualizing using your imagination and then writing down the paragraph and then answering those questions related to that particular paragraph that you see in the picture this will also enable you to help you form sentences and improve your reading skills at the same time so what is a picture composition a picture composition consists of writing sentences based on a given picture now again you can see another picture over here there are few children who are playing about now what exactly does a picture composition help you to do or what are its contents a picture composition requires the writer to carefully observe the picture and describe it in the form of composition or paragraph having meaningful sentences yes my dear students it's very very important because you all know that english is a very funny language okay not every time but whenever you have been given a picture composition the writer who is the writer over here you so you have to think properly observe the picture carefully and you have to describe it in the form of a composition or a paragraph writing and the sentences that you form need to be meaningful sentences there has to be connection in the sentence it should make sense right a sentence should make complete sense correct so how will you write a picture composition there are few points that i have written over here you can see the first point it says you have to carefully observe the picture because this is a picture composition so there will be a picture that's given to you so you have to observe the picture you have to look the picture properly observe each and everything in that picture the second point is observe the things or actions you can see yes so you have to observe the things or the actions that you see in the particular picture third ask questions 
and note down the answers or the observations to these questions now when you're seeing the picture you are observing it right you can also observe the things or the actions what you see in the picture then you have to start noting down the answers or observation to these questions okay next arrange the observation as points in logical order now what you're going to do you're going to arrange that observation what you have done after watching the picture composition the particular picture you're going to write down the points or the sentences in logical order logical order means there should be a connection you cannot say that you know suppose for example if i'm talking about a picture in the park so i will say we went to the zoo and then we came to the park and again i saw the lion so the connection has to be there in the picture composition always remember to write down logical points in a proper order the next one is write meaningful sentences to form composition okay so as i told you earlier you need to form meaningful sentences last not the least write a title to the composition based on the main theme of the picture now you have been given a picture right so you have to also give a suitable title to that particular picture only then your picture composition is complete remember this okay so these are the six points that is very very important when you are writing a picture composition please make a note my dear students okay now i have given you a picture on the right hand side and on the left hand side you have question and answers to it so writing a picture composition based on the given picture yes so what do you see in the picture you can see children playing on the tree children are playing with a puppy a girl is riding a bicycle and there's a an old lady there's one girl that the old lady or the grandmother is holding and there's another child who is peeping from the bench so let us see based on this picture there are certain questions and answers related to this picture what are they the first one is what is this picture of this is a picture of a park where the children are having fun i have assumed that these children are in the park and my first question is what is this picture of so i have written this is a picture of a park where the children are having fun because the children seem to be very happy in the picture the second question what is happening in the picture very important as i told you you need to observe every little thing so the answer to this question is the children are playing in the park yes the children are playing in the park the third question how many children are there in the park so you need to count the number of children that are there in the park so let us see how many children are there there are six children in the park now there are no names given over here but i have thought about it and given these characters their names so what are rohit and shinu doing answer to this is rohit and shinu are playing on the tree so there are two children on the tree there's a girl and a boy so i have named the boy rohit and i have named the girl shinu so what they both are doing they are playing on the tree right what is granny doing now i told you you can see a old lady in this picture so i have given the character of a granny to her and i have asked the question what is granny doing 
so the answer to this is granny is telling a story to nina there's a girl who's sitting next to granny and granny is holding her so granny is telling a story to nina and nina is a little girl sitting next to granny the last question what is the puppy doing the puppy is playing with aman and richa so you can see that the boy who's holding the puppy and the girl who's riding the cycle so i've named the boy aman and the girl richa so the puppy is playing with aman and richa so you see children how the connection goes when you see the picture what is your thought how you have to analyze how you have to understand how you have to relate a picture that is being given then how you have to frame question and what will be the answer very important children okay it will help you now this is the picture composition so let us read it says this i have written this down this is a picture of a park there are six children at the park they are having fun out there they are playing around rohit and shinu are friends they are climbing on the tree they are playing on it Nina has come to the park with her granny and cousin Chintu. Granny is telling her a story sitting on the bench. Chintu is standing behind them. Aman and Richa are playing with the puppy. Richa is riding on her two-wheeler scooter. It's a great fun in the park. So you see this is a paragraph. okay which is in relation with the picture so i have thought about it and i have written these sentences in connection with the picture so this is the picture composition my dear students now what we need to do is we need to give a suitable title to this picture composition so what is this title i have given since i can see that there's a lot of greenery and the children are very happy so i have written fun in the park the title that i have given for this picture composition is fun in the park now let us have a recap or a recapitulation what did we learn today a picture composition is an exercise yes where you describe a picture by writing meaningful sentences about it second one a picture composition consists of writing a few meaningful sentences or a paragraph about the given picture third before you begin writing a composition observe the picture carefully then you can ask questions and write the answers as points in logical order very very important point the third point before you begin writing a composition as i told you you have to observe the picture carefully and then you have to ask questions and write the answers as points in logical order fourth one write a title to the composition based on the main theme of the picture so that if there is no title to the picture composition it is incomplete right so you need to write a title to the composition based on the main theme that you observe in the picture dear students and the last point is always begin the paragraph away from the margin now you know what is the margin right it's that line on the left hand side you need to always give or leave a space like one finger space and then you need to begin writing your paragraph very important so my dear students i hope and believe that you all are taking good care of yourselves protects yourself well and be healthy stay home stay safe god bless each one of you 
now the homework for you is i have given you another picture you have to observe the picture as given you need to give a suitable title and i'm not expecting too much but write few lines on the picture you see by now you have an idea as to what is a picture composition how you have to frame the sentence what about the answer how you are going to write what the question is you have to write the answer and it is all in relation with the picture so you are the writer you have to decide what you are going to write in this story in this picture composition okay so all the best i'm sure that each one of you will do a good job god bless you all dear students thank you and the upcoming topic that we are going to do is kashaba jadav